allows us to do is to go back and see who has been inactivated, uh, who's been placed on inactive status in the last five years. And if we can assure that they're still Oregon residents, that uh, we can verify what their address is, then uh, we are able to extend this by rule to those that would qualify under the 10-year rule. I'm, I'm not quite following that because if we change the rule today, how, how can that rule be applied back to people who were became inactive a year ago or more? Good question. Uh, the, we're not changing the statute. Okay? The statute's the same. It's merely how is the statute being administered. And so through administrative rules, I have the power in, in the course of administering election laws to administer them with an interpretation of 10 years instead of five. I understand that, but wouldn't that be going forward? Or aren't you reaching back into your predecessor tenure in this way? Well, it has nothing to do with No, I know. I'm just saying theoretically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it, in every election, you look at your administrative rules to see how you're going to implement statutes that have been passed by the people's representatives. From this time forward, it's going to take about 60 days to implement this rule. But at the time that it's finally accepted, the interpretation will be if you are registered to vote and if you haven't bought you, you know if you haven't voted in 10 years and we know what your address is then you will receive a ballot in upcoming elections